All right, get to go behind the scenes and see what the sea lions and the seal do. Yay. introduce all the keepers very briefly but they're gonna be pretty distracted because they're getting prepped and ready for the 230 what that entails is prepping all the fish and having kind of a quick impromptu meeting amongst teammates excluding the animals but they're human teammates <laughs> <laughs> of kind of who's gonna station who what kind of behaviors are we working on what area are you gonna stand in so that way they can really have that much more focus versus trying to share space we've had anthropology degrees before oh, psychology nice. degrees Degrees. I mean, it really kind of rains again that a lot of different areas. You are getting ready to go. That's my final reminder. Let's go. Right. So when we walk through this, there's going to be a foot bath. You've obviously done it before. Right. Go ahead, set both feet in. Step out. You can do one at a time. Just don't forget both feet. <laughs> dropping to the keepers too. They're gonna start communicating like half bucket how much fish they have left. So Brooke is listening also to kind of wrap up us and get us out of here before they all break station with no food left. Today's a two day, or I did three yesterday. Okay. So instead of. Yeah. Severe weather, there will be a health concern. There will just be a mechanical issue. We could immediately move those animals back. So then they'll consistently move them back around. And if you notice too, there's actually a holding right here that we can bring animals back in. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of what they play a role in doing. 
Um, but when the zoo closes at night, our sea lions and harbor seal go wherever they want to. So they usually just open up all the doors. If they want to be out on habitat, great. If they want to come back here, perfect. It's whatever they want to do. Uh, they get three different kinds of fish. Well, two different kinds of fish and one kind of squid. Um, they get herring and caitlin. Um, herring is a larger fish, and caitlin is a smaller fish. And caitlin is actually what you're going to be feeding to them today. Um, Baja is our biggest uh, sea lion. He's about 540 pounds. So Day, 39 pounds of food, a lot of food. Um, and then our smallest sea lion, she gets 14 pounds of food. So there's quite a big difference. Um, big sea lion, you need a lot of food to maintain that sea lion. Yeah, and then Gambit or her seal, he gets 12 pounds of food a day. Why doesn't a net gamut get squid? Um, so in the wild, they might eat squid. Here, they don't really like squid. Um, we have tossed a net a squid before, and she'll kind of just spit it out. But she gets, um, the herring has a lot of fat content in it too. Um, so they get that fat content and the water. And we're actually going to walk with these two ladies back out on the public area. And like I said, we're going to actually head top deck. And this oh my gosh. Oh, this looks like so much more fish than I'm expecting. So it's really important then when I talk about the foot bath, don't fall because now you're carrying fish. <laughs> That'll be a nice big mess. So go ahead. <laughs> We're gonna do a net gambit and a ranger all oh, okay. at the end there. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so you'll at least be able to see a little bit of harbor still out, oh, yeah. and then a ranger and a net, which we saw out on deck two. Um, okay. You got your camera. You just, you your I was going to say, what do you want? Yeah, why don't you do that? Okay. Please. Yep. Good. Absolutely. <laughs> I was gonna say, how far are we throwing it? Um, just out, about where Gambit is, but towards the respective seal. I want to get one get closer real quick. Okay. <laughs> I'll do two, and then I'll get it. Perfect. And then you can throw yours over there towards Ranger. Yep, perfect. We'll just have to share the love between all of them. <laughs> okay. Do you really? Okay. And then Amanda will just be tasked with going faster. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> I feel so fancy with this thing. I, know I shouldn't say it because it's taking audio, but like this thing is so fancy. It, it like, nice. yeah. dang, it's, I feel real yeah. official. The glove kind of wrecks it a little bit, yeah. but <laughs> at least it's being clean. <laughs> Perfect. Last one. Toss it out. Okay, Amanda, you ready? So go ahead if you want to just set your bucket down. As long as we're spreading oh, yeah. out these kids I'll out. Get you, this time. you ready, Annette? Ready? Get it, Annette. Good yeah. girl. This time, ready, Gam? Get a Gam back. Oh, I got it, slam dunk. Because then you get sent oh, home Annette. with it and you have to eat it yourself. <laughs> Annette! Oh, all right, all right, you ready, boy? I was going to say, like, way out. There you go. <laughs> got to get just out of her reach. Annette. I'll say, how much do they like rubbing up against the glass? Because I've seen them do that down there. They do. Um, yeah, a couple of them have their routine swim patterns that they do, and part of that routine swim pattern is just rubbing their stomachs up against the glass. <laughs> do you know how thick the glass is? Um, I'm thinking it's probably like... <laughs> I'd say at least three inches. Okay. Yeah. So Amanda calls Annette Miss Annette, so any of the keepers call her Miss Annette. Is that just an Amanda thing? Yeah. Um, I feel like that's something that comes out of her mouth quite often. Okay. Yeah. You saying Miss Annette. Annette, so I'm like, how many other people say that? Yeah, she's our only girl. Yeah. I think it just kind of has become a habit more than anything. Although she is not very ladylike. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I'm like, you're the only one who does that. Are you? Am I telling on you? Yes, exactly. Oh. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> he is the shark of the sea lion pool. All of the sea lions are scared of him. Uh, we have to, when we're doing a training session, we try to end him last uh, because if we don't and we end him before we end the other sea lions, he'll come and chase the other sea lions out of the water. He's been 
so charismatic with the guests lately. Ranger? Yeah. yeah. I'm used to Maverick doing it, but Ranger's been really? playing around quite a bit lately. Now, <laughs> when you guys do the retrievals with stuff like that, are you worried about them just being trained to that color? That's not y'all's intent, but I'm yeah. I'm wondering because when I saw the two cars, I'm like, I don't know if you guys switch out the cars because one was red, one was blue. It's really just any foreign object is the goal because we started with water bottles water and bottles. then we transitioned to sunglasses and they wouldn't, they didn't get it. They're like, it's not a water bottle. I don't understand. Oh. <laughs> so, so we want them to just be able to go get anything in the pool that they find that's not supposed to be there. Okay. And we have different colors of water bottles, different colors of sunglasses, different colors of cars. So yeah, I don't think at this point they're going to be yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we have some students just for us because as you can see, our goal here at Sea Lion Landing is to educate people about marine debris. We didn't talk about it too much today just because you guys had so many great other <laughs> questions, which is totally fine. But we're, I'm going to give you two of these stainless steel straws, dangerous form Great. of trash that ends up in the ocean. There's a little bit of a reminder of River Banks. Oh, yeah, a little low there. Yeah. But I'm giving you two so that you can keep one and then tell someone else about your experience today. What all you learned about the sea lions and what all you learned about marine debris. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thank you all so much. Yeah. Great. I know you've already seen the zoo, but go enjoy the zoo. It's a beautiful day. Yep. We'll see you again soon. Great. Thank you.